Welcome to Sharpshooter South Africa. 15 contestants have been chosen to capture some of the most fundamental principles of photography. Uncertain of what's to come, they will be pushed to the edge of their knowledge, expertise, strategies, and skills. A spectacular photographic shooter. When the stakes are this high, only the strongest and most talented photographers will survive. The cameras will be blazing, but ultimately only one sharp shooter will be left standing. Our contestants, photographers, amateurs and professionals from a diversity of backgrounds, they're gonna need stamina and determination to master the challenges, the elements, and ultimately each other to be victorious. Be it abstract, architecture, wildlife, landscape, glamour, underwater, painting with light, commissioned, journalistic. What will stand in their way? Who will take the best shot and who will face our panel? Now as complete strangers, they are gonna be forced to collaborate in three teams of five photographers. They're gonna be forced to, to fight, collectively capture that perfect shot or face elimination. Not only talent will be enough to guarantee you a place in the final photographic shootout. This is reality from a completely unique angle. Join us in the action as we take you to the most spectacular locations, witness some incredible challenges and learn a few photographic tricks along the way. Who will ultimately get the shot? Who will be our sharpshooter? Who will win? over half a million rands worth of prizes. 15 contestants, 10 challenges, one shot, one winner. Welcome to Sharpshooter, and congratulations, you've made the cut. You've been selected to compete in the ultimate photographic showdown. I'm gonna begin by giving you a little bit of background on the challenges you're about to face. There are 15 of you standing here today. You're gonna to be split into three teams of five. You will be given a series of 10 photographic tasks. These tasks, are designed to see if you've got what it takes to be a true sharpshooter. Each theme-specific challenge is designed around a fundamental photographic principle or discipline. You will have to collaborate as a team to produce and capture that perfect shot. However, your individual work, a single shot, 
Only one photograph from each team will also be evaluated and appraised by our panel of judges, and their decision is final. On each task, the photographer that captures that perfect shot as submitted will be rewarded with immunity from elimination and also win a fantastic prize. As well as this, the team that best interprets the brief as per a photo collage that will be submitted to the panel of judges, which includes the best shot, cannot be nominated for elimination and will be rewarded with a surprising competitive advantage. As in photography, expect the unexpected. The rules can change at any time. As of today, one or more of you could be gone in a flash. Are we clear? Yes. 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 I'm very ready for this challenge, can't wait. Um, I'm just a little bit apprehensive about getting started and I'm super amped and ready to get going. Sounds like it's gonna be a pretty cool adventure. Sharpshooter is about taking the best shot. The standards have been set very high. Only your best shot will impress our panel of judges. Only your best will cut it on Sharpshooter South Africa. I mentioned we're gonna have three teams of five members. Our panel of judges have randomly selected those members. Are you ready to find out who you're playing with? Yeah. Right. Team number one, which from now on, will be called Team Optical. Will consist of the following. Ian, Lola, Brendan, Brunel, and Judy. Team number two, which will now be called Team Aperture. Chad, Andrea, Johnson, Miles, and Quena. That leaves our final team, which will be called Team Exposure, which will be Pierre, Tasman, Mbali, Paul, and Sam. That's who you're gonna be playing with. Get to know each other a little better. I was very surprised by the team selection, but I think it's a very good team selection. Um, there's a good demographic within the group, and you're all young, you've got fresh ideas to put in. I think we definitely have the characteristics of a winning team. There's no stubbornness, we're all on a level field. I think we'll get along well. Shock. You know, I think there's one brilliant team there. Ours must be the crappest. But, I mean, we've got the hottest chick. Must say that. I mean, we've got one creative guy, two useless people, one granny and a grandpa, and that's really it. So, the rest of it, I think we're gonna have to work hard. So we've got some interesting characters, and I definitely foresee some um, tension. It'll be very interesting. So now you know who you're playing with, but let's see what you're playing for. On every challenge, the winning sharpshooter will win a getaway for two at a luxury legacy destination. Hotel, leisure resort, game lodge in the most beautiful locations around South Africa. And for our sharpest shooter, the winner of Sharpshooter South Africa, a 250,000 Rand cash prize. And 250,000 rands worth of Nikon camera equipment to get you to the heart of the image. If those stakes don't motivate you, then nothing will. Prizes, awesome. Uh, 250,000 rands worth of Nikon gear, dream come true. If a person doesn't know how to take a photograph, I'm gonna take it for them. I mean, this is a team thing, so we're gonna have to help and we want our team to win. So. Whatever it takes, having immunity if you get that shot, that's what I'm there for.
Right, well, you know who your teammates are. No team is complete, however, without a team leader. But with responsibility comes reckoning. As team leader, you will be responsible for choosing your team's photo collage, which you will submit to the panel. You will also be responsible for choosing your team's best shot. So it's a big responsibility. It's a tough call. Now, there's another twist. With each new challenge, a new team leader is chosen. So, do I have any volunteers? Please step forward. Right, Team Optical, you've chosen Ian as your leader. Team Exposure, you've chosen Mbali. And Team Aperture, you've chosen Johnson. Like I said, it's a huge responsibility. I hope you have your team's best interest at heart. Good luck. I don't uh, think for a minute that I'm a born leader. I think I've been, um, uh, I've been molded into being a leader, and I enjoy leading people and managing people. Um, so to break the ice, I thought, let's do it. Show the way. I think my creativity is what's going to be my strongest point, what's going to help my team the most. I'm motivated because to be able to have that money, that prize, would be incredible, a huge advantage for the future. In order to be a sharpshooter, you need the perfect tools. To capture the heart of the image, Nikon has provided you with the best equipment you can get. You're also going to be given more specialized equipment and accessories as you go along, according to the details of your brief. So, brace yourselves. The ultimate photographic challenge awaits. Let's get on with it. It's all yours. Good morning, everyone. Morning. morning, Craig. You all look fantastic in your outfits. Welcome to your first sharpshooter challenge. How are you all feeling? Great. Good. good. How are you doing, good. team leaders? Ian, how are you doing? Very good. Excited. Feeling strong? Excited? Yeah. Where's Mbali? How are you doing? Hi. I'm cool. Johnson, team aperture ready? Indeed. OK, well, I hope so, because the time for talking is now done. It's now time for action. We're here at a fire training ground. This is where our young cadets, our new firemen, are put through their paces. The job of a fireman is often a very thankless task. It's a tough job. It's a dangerous one. The difference is these firemen have a will to save and protect, to save lives. That is what makes them different from other people. That is what makes them true heroes. And that is your brief for this first task. Heroes, ladies and gentlemen. There's going to be a lot of action happening here. 
You are gonna have to capture in one single frame the intensity, the action, the drama, but also that one frozen moment of human emotion. That human emotion that goes with an heroic act. Our panel of judges have randomly selected Team Aperture to choose. We have three tasks in this first challenge. The tasks are as follows. Inferno, Vertigo, and Backdraft. Team Aperture, which one do you choose? Heights out. Heights of Flames. Flames. Inferno. Team Aperture has taken Inferno. That leaves us with two. We still have Vertigo and Backdraft. Team Exposure, which one do you choose? <laughs> Come, guys. We'll take Vertigo. They've got Vertigo. That leaves you, Team Optical. You have got Backdraft. Okay. Right. Team Aperture, you're up first. I need you to grab your gear, get your cameras. It's time for you team leaders to show us what you're made of. Let's test your metal. Grab your stuff. May the best shot win. Good luck. See you guys. Cheers, Craig. I arrived here this morning. Obviously, the first thing we saw was the huge fire testing building behind me. Um, Obviously, I don't know what we're going to do, but it's a lot of excitement. Um, well, I'm hoping the task involves some fire, so maybe some water. Um, yeah, just maybe, maybe it could be like an elements task or something, like a fire, water, air. Well, I don't know. I have a feeling we're going to do some action sequences. We're at a fire station, so I can only assume there's going to be firemen and fire. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to the task at hand, not knowing what it is, but hey, that's the, that's the excitement about it. We got vertigo. Uh, we're still trying to figure it out, but it sounds like it's going to be pretty awesome. A hero is a person who acts in the moment. A hero is a person who acts five seconds before someone else, really, and is willing to take the chance. Um, I'm nervous, but very excited. The Emergency Management Services of Johannesburg opened the Firefighting Training Academy at Ritfontein, the Major, in 2007 on the site of one of the oldest fire stations in Johannesburg. The academy equips cadets with all the necessary skills they need to be truly world-class and instills a sense of civic pride in every individual who graduates there. Cadets are trained not only in theoretical know-how, yet very importantly, are placed in real-life simulations and taught how to deal with any potential disaster by the best instructors in South Africa. The city of Johannesburg's emergency services is a first-class facility. It matches up with the world-class facilities across the world, and ours is the finest in the country and in the continent. This job is more about dedication than anything else. And our aim is to put out firemen that can show real dedication to this job. And we put a lot of passion into our training. When they leave the academy, they are ready to be true firefighters. I think my strengths are definitely my experience in working for various professionals locally and abroad um, through all the different aspects of photography from still life to food to cars to fashion. Um, so I, I definitely have a bit of a mixed blend of, of knowledge um, across the board which I think in terms of the challenges I'll definitely have something to offer no matter what the challenge is. Uh, technically speaking I've worked with a lot of different gear. Having that, that background, that knowledge I think I'll be able to adapt pretty easy to any given situation that they may be put in front of me. Um, yeah, what could work against me is that I, at times, tend to be a little bit on my own, in my own world. I zone out, you know, stuff like that. And that could maybe be seen as, 
you know, maybe arrogant or shy or, you know, misinterpreted in many different ways when really I'm just, you know, doing my own thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing, I'm doing the thing I do best, the thing I, you know, pour my heart and soul into, okay? And in the end, using this passion and this talent I have, I can, you know, do something big, which is possibly win. I like to think of myself as an adaptive personality. I like to be able to adapt to certain situations. I'm very multi-talented in the way that I can be intro or extroverted. So it depends on the type of people that I will be working with at the time. I do my best to suit the situation. I'm a part of Sharpshooter because I would like to learn as much as I can in the shortest period of time. And I think this is the best crash course, whether it be people or the experience. I'd really like to win this prize because it would be a great advantage for my future. I think a competitive edge I'll have is being a very balanced person. I'm not completely honed in on one skill or one talent. I think I'm very balanced. I've got a broad knowledge of different fields and I'm hoping to bring them together in a unique, cool way that's going to work to my advantage. So I've got the maths brain, I've got the artistic brain, I've got um, just a positiveness about me. I'm going to bring it all together. I'm going to add something different and unique to this competition. But I think maybe other people are more honed in on the particular talents. I'm going to try bring in all my fields of expertise. Um, I'm someone who loves camera. I can't do anything without it. And uh, you know, what I can bring to the table is I'm a hard worker. Uh, I'm not a professional photographer. It's by hobby, but it's, it's passion more than anything else that drives me. And I think that's one of my good sides is uh, the passion to keep me going through thick and thin. I'm passionate about what I do. I love it. I breathe it, I eat it, I sleep it. It's there. I have to have visuals in front of me all the time. Picture this. You're sitting in the newsroom. The phone rings. And someone says to you, you have to make your way to a destination where a potentially explosive situation is about to unfold. But the clock is ticking. Time is short. You have to get there and with one single shot, capture the action. You have to capture the intense danger and you have to capture that one moment of heroism. You might want to take a look behind you. Remember your brief. Your brief is heroes. Go get your perfect shot. Go, go, go. Holy crap. Wow, you hardly even have time to think. 
<sighs> yeah, no, there's definitely not one scene that I thought, oh, this is the shot. I was like running around like a mad chicken trying to get the right exposures and stuff, but trying to get the right picture at the same time. No, I think our team will benefit the most from the fact that it was just something extremely different, something that we had to capture, we were just there and had to do it. So we all put our best into it, and that was just, you know, we all wanted that insane part of it. Uh, you have to be in the action for this sort of uh, journalistic photography. It's not something I do, but uh, yes, the thrill of it, in there and get the shot that you need to. Yeah, I, I can go back and do it all again. I mean, the chaos is, just, just makes it, man. If, if you're passionate about photography, you'll do anything to get that shot. You gotta pretend that you're fighting that fire and just get there. So the difference is you don't have a hose, you got a camera. That's how you get the shot. Teamwork is very crucial in this situation. It's coordinated. Uh, one team member stepping out of coordination will affect the whole team. The whole team can burn. In this job, everything is teamwork. Whatever we do is teamwork. The task was inferno. Team Aperture was faced with blazing fire. The brief was to capture a hero in action. It wasn't only the cameras that were blazing. Faced with intense heat, they were pushed to the limit of their capabilities. But the question remains, did they give enough to get that perfect shot? My strength, photographically, is the creative aspect. I'm not really very um, technical. Um, I think I need a lot of help with that, but I think creatively, that's my strong point. Like, I like to see things and try and find the, the most creative aspect of what I'm looking at, no matter how dull it is. I think, yeah, strategy is, is vital in how I'm gonna play this game. Especially in these group phases, I really want to get the group to, to work together. I think that will benefit me the most. Um, so if we can get the group going, I'm not going to see my look after myself at first. Like I think competitively for me, the best thing would be to get the group going in the best way. I mean, we don't know the briefs yet, so, but I think if we can get the group going, yeah. What you see is what you get. I try never to put on pretenses because you're going to get caught out. And it, it, the true you will always come through. No matter how much you try and coat the top, the true you is going to come through. Um, I'm not a bad loser, but I like to win. And I'm in it to win it in anything that I'm going to do. Um, I don't always win. I, I do believe there's always somebody better than you and there's somebody worse than you in everything you do in life. Um, OK, I think I'm probably the most competitive out of everyone here. Um, when someone just criticizes me or something, I'm there to just prove to them that I can do it. So I'm, I'm a go-getter and I want to, want to actually just achieve. That's basically what I'm about. And second best is no good. It's always been like that. Well, to tell you the truth, in 22 years, I've never once messed up. Never. So photographically, I think I'm a winner. That's basically it. Well, I am a model. Full time, I do show jumping. Um, I love animals. Uh, Photography is new to me. I'm trying it now, seeing, seeing how it is for me. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I look at that camera and I just don't know. I know auto and click. I don't know anything else. <laughs> but I'm up for the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm nervous. Team Exposure, welcome to Vertigo. Thank you, Greg. How are you feeling? <laughs> no. Look at that. A little bit edgy, my friend. That's coffee. That's too much coffee. <laughs> Mbali, you up to this? Yeah, I am. You're our team leader. Trust me, guys. Let's talk about your brief. Your brief is about capturing real life drama. It's about a life and death situation. A situation that basically all of us here hope we never find ourselves in. It is one where only the intervention of a real life hero could save the day. There are so many variables you have to consider 
in a rescue operation. Firefighters have to work together as a unit, as a team, work together if you're gonna have any success on Sharpshooter. You have to change your mindset. You have gotta start thinking like photojournalists and capture the essence of a true heroic effort as it happens in a single frame. I hope you're ready. Your task starts now. Make sure you do everything you have to do to capture that perfect shot. You can go. Go get your heroic shot. We're going, Molly. What do you want to do? Let's have you go this side. Just keep going. You two can keep going. Don't follow me. Go around to the other side. in my life, it was brilliant, it was excellent. I mean, heroes. This is what it is, 911. Wow, uh, I think it was just noise. My voice levels are pretty low, so it's pretty difficult to instruct someone. Also, we're all so excited trying to get the hero shot. So everyone is just running around. You want to stay as a team, but then you're like, maybe I should just go around that side. You know, yeah. it was pretty hectic. I do it for a living and I do lots of various tasks. So what makes me competitive? Um, wanting to win. I think my photographic style is very, very um, alternative and generally I'm a very vivacious, outgoing kind of person. And I think that really comes through in my photography. I, I live, breathe, everything is about my photography and I absolutely adore it. At the end of the day, Lola comes first. I think you've, you've got to think about yourself because in the end it's going to be about yourself but to get there you've got to work with your team for now so I think you, you <laughs> look you've got to balance it out a bit and try and you've got to do stuff for yourself that's life but uh, also I've, I've got my own name to support I've got to uh, show what I've got and uh, prove myself basically not to everyone else but more to myself it's, it's about how I feel it, about me, you know. I, I don't care about other people that much. It's just about me, that's it. I'm bringing maturity, I'm bringing reliability and a lot of technical skill. Um, 
I'm pretty certain that I know what I'm doing. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm doing this for a living, so, um, and I think my ability to, to read situations and adapt to situations, I, I, I call myself eclectic, which is situational. So therefore, I can adapt to, to any situation and um, for the people around me and, and manage the situation there upon. The, the experience, the, the um, knowledge and the creative eye that goes along with the camera, um, I, I have that. So that, I believe, is a, is a full uh, competitive advantage that I have. Well, I'm just a very enthusiastic person and um, I'm full of, full of fun, full of life, full of uh, adventure. I'm looking to, my edge is going to be just to think outside of the box, to be as crazy, as wild and as wacky as I can, you know, within my style, of course, and just to learn and have a good time. Welcome, team. How are you doing? Cool. Look great in yellow, by the way. Here's your brief. In any emergency situation, the need for quick and timeliest intervention is paramount. Our firefighters are trained not only in how to save lives, but also in how to minimize the amount of injury sustained by the survivors. When a fire burns, it sucks the oxygen out of the air. So anyone entering a burning building becomes immediately disorientated and focused. It is very difficult for a firefighter to enter a smoke-filled environment, stay focused and complete his rescue mission successfully. And this is where your hero shot comes in. You are about to witness as firefighters are instructed on how to enter a smoke-filled environment and complete a successful rescue operation. Have your cameras at the ready. Have your cameras ablaze. Team leader, are you good to go? Absolutely. Optical, are you good to go? Yes. Work as a team, right? Remember, stay focused. Stick together. Your task is about to begin. Team Optical, go and get your perfect hero shot. Guys, we're kicking. Let's do this. How's your shoulder speed? Fast enough. 800. Going low. Someone get this side for me. Can someone get from the side? Now, can you get from that side of there? Go on, this side. Just wipe your lens quickly. It steams up. Are you changing lenses? You got a good one. Watch like the reflections and stuff below if there are any. Black smoke, guys! Black smoke, black smoke! Guys, we step back and going far.
Yeah. A great firefighter gets made by heart. Firefighters get born, they don't get trained. Teamwork is of utmost importance. As you saw here, uh, we work in teams of two. We call it a buddy-buddy system. Always go in at two. We, we got the saying in the fire department, one suffer, all suffer. We just did our, our, our first task, first task, and I am I'm still shaking. <laughs> wow, the adrenaline, the, um, the experience, the, the, the challenge, wow. It was lots of stuff happening at once, water, fire, smoke, 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 and having to change shutter speeds and ISOs as you run in and out all the time. I was quite happy the way I, I performed. I think I, I may have been able to do a little bit more, but I think under the circumstances of the speed that we had to do everything, um, I think I did, I did enough and, uh, to help my team and to make sure that uh, we got some decent shots. If this is what the first task was about, I can't wait for the second one. Yeah. Right, guys, so day one, a very explosive day at that. How do you think your first challenge on Sharpshooter went? Sensational. Great stuff. Did you get your shots? Yeah. You think your team's got their shots? Yeah. I saw some interesting things in my little Maya the B team over there. I saw Lola coming out, she was blowing smoke rings when she came out of her little... <laughs> and I saw Brendan standing over Ian and he was going like this. Sh -sh -sh -sh, don't stand up, don't stand up, whatever you do. Sh -sh -sh. <laughs> Sam, how did it go for you? It was awesome. It was... It was um... Explosive, as you said. It really was good. Did you get your shot? I think I did. And is your team going to have a great collage for our panel? Absolutely. Without a doubt. And you, Chad, how was it? Fantastic. Tell me more. Yes. Well, we didn't know what to expect from, you know, from the beginning, so it's just been mind-blowing. Just the heat, the excitement, the intensity, but uh, great, great teamwork. And uh, Chad, when I was giving you the brief and you felt the heat coming up behind you and you could see the flames and the shadows, what were you thinking? I was watching out for my leg hairs, um, <laughs> but I was watching the floor and I saw the shadow in your eyes, so that's it enough. I think I got a little bit of a fright as well. Ian, how did your team do? I think they did very well. Are we going to have a good collage? Most definitely we'll have a good collage from what we've seen so far. Shot, did you get yours? Most definitely. All right, guys, well, thank you very much. It's been a great day. Congratulations, give yourselves a round of applause. That's just the beginning, folks. There is lots more to come. I'll see you back at the gallery where you'll have a chance to review your picks before we face the panel. Thank you. Thank you. With the first task of journalism completed by all three teams, the next challenge will be to face the panel. Will they select the right shot and survive their first elimination? When the stakes are this high, only the strongest and most talented photographers will survive. 15 contestants, 10 tasks, one shot, one winner. Teams, welcome to the gallery. Your first sharpshooter challenge was Heroes. It's going to be interesting to see how your choices measure up under the scrutinizing eye of our judging panel. Now, in a few minutes, you'll be taken through to the lab, where you will be allocated a certain amount of time, during which you must select and put forward your single best shot, which will form part of your team collage as per the brief. However, you must remember that only one single shot from each team will be presented to the gallery as that team's best shot. You're going to be assisted by MacBook Pro, courtesy of DigiCape, and the very easy to use Nikon NX2 photo imaging software. These are your professional tools. Use them well. Focus your imagination. Now, I said the other day to my team leaders, with responsibility comes reckoning. 
Well, this has never been more true. As team leaders, you are automatically up for elimination. And if your team is unsuccessful, you will have to select another member from your team and they become eligible for elimination. One contestant from each losing team will go home today. The panel's decision is final. Are we clear? Yes. 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 Then let's go. In the selection process, I expect there's going to be a lot of pressure um, on us all. Uh, I think it's going to be a bit of a rush to choose the best photo, do what we need to do and, and come together on a common agreement. Yeah. Welcome to the lab. You are now going to review and select your photographs. You have 30 minutes, and your time starts now. Right, see. Oh. So we're going to select our top two. Select your top two and show me. I think take your two, fold, two pictures and put them in a separate folder within the folder that you opened. Hey, in your eyes. going to take 10 minutes to download mine. We'll just wait. Think of something else to do. Help Tasman. We're going to choose like three each, four each, and then as a group move around and choose each person. Okay, cool. Go one up. Does look better. That is intense. That is intense. And because it's close, the detail is pretty sick. I think, I mean, in the context of this, with Rudy go with the guy coming down. This one, I've got that one. Yeah. And the other one is which okay. one? Come on. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. This one is an amazing photograph. It's just if it filled the whole frame, then that would be cooler. You could change the background like you say you want to do, yeah. but this one has more emotion on it. I mean, look at his face. Okay. Uh -huh. Contrast is perfect. Yeah. Show me that one again. This one's in the same Yeah, way. I prefer that one. The darker? Yeah. yeah. I like that one. It's fun. I think it's cool. Yeah. Ah, uh, hero lurping out of yes, the scene. What no, is this untitled for? There it goes, look. It there it goes. There. OK. Yeah. Legend. Okay. Is this your best shot, sir? I think it is. Oh, cool. God, can you... As long as you're happy with it, as long as it's your best shot. I think the crop is better because you've got too much maybe on the floor here. Yeah. I think they might consider that as dead space. That looks beautiful, just as is. I yeah, love I it. So. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do and that. I like that shot. What do you think? Just enhance the colours a little bit. That lens flare is going to be too Yeah, I think so too. Um, I'm just going to bring some light back in here. Can we make a fire come out of the window? I don't think so. <laughs> awesome. Lovely. Perfect. I need a hero. <laughs> no, I was saving onto the desktop and then it just bombed out. My whole thing's just gone now. Keep going, keep going. Oh, it's Jay's fault. Group work, guys. She's still not sure about what image she is. All right, team exposure. You're going to have to start making your selections. Time is almost up. We've got to wrap this up. You've got two minutes. What are we going to do? The, which one? Oh, the, what, like the, the, what about this one? What about that one? Oh, gosh. Which one do you think, Paul? That one might not show very good, but we can explain why we chose it. I like it. my bottom, my other one. Well, I, like, I think mine is the most Quick, drama. Bottom, you're going to have to call it. Choose it. You want me to call it? Yeah. Yeah, it's your choice. And the light coming through it. Moving. One minute, people. In 60 seconds, you walk away from those computers. Choose your best shot and your team shot. Okay. Yeah, I've saved it. I was just thinking if I had a bit of time, I'd do another one. See, now it's saying I can't, cannot say it. Can I see it? Oh. Which one? The one that I've got? Yeah. Let's just leave it on there. That's fine. It's just a crazy. Perfect. One minute, guys. Okay, guys. I think okay. perhaps this one then. Let's just tell which one do we want. A or B, A or B. Oh, definitely. Quickly, guys, I need a vote. Just quickly. Okay, I'm just happy. Yes, yes, I just. Final image, I'm calling it. No. 
That's it. Time is up. Your time in the lab is over, ladies and gentlemen. Team Exposure, please collect your equipment. I'll meet you back at the gallery. Team Aperture, Johnson, your team leader. Have you chosen your team shot? Chad. Chad, that's your team shot. Congratulations, take your equipment. I'll meet you back in the gallery. Which ones? That's all for you, Team Optical. Please wrap it up now. Let's get your equipment. Good luck, and I'll see you back at the gallery. Let's move. Oh, wow. What an intense experience. Uh, we just had to find our perfect shot. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> when the computer froze up, I thought I was doing something horribly wrong, which I think I did. I think it was all my fault. I bring 20 years of experience of commercial photography to the show. I'm looking forward to sharing that with the contestants. Being a photographer is all about your brief, all about the discipline of photography you've chosen, all the way from photojournalism to advertising. There's many different ways in which photography is applied and used every day. What I'm looking for in the best shot is if the contestants have completed the brief in an artistic and creative way. And I'm looking forward through the show and the task to actually possibly find South Africa's next great photographer. I've been in the industry for about 25 years, in front of the camera and behind the camera. I am extremely opinionated and I know what a good photograph is. What I'm looking for in a photograph is beauty and the light at the end of the day. It just, it, the, the photograph has to look beautiful. I'm looking for someone with an original idea, with a composition that is just so obscure and so phenomenal at the same time. I'm looking for beauty, I'm looking for magnificent light. Somebody who, who is able to capture a moment that none of the others were able to do. My knowledge of photography extends back to the advertising days. I used to do a lot of photographic shoots, a lot of stills, a lot of television. Worked with some major photographers in South Africa and incredible art directors. And it's the whole experience of the production, the capturing of a moment or capturing of a client's brief to the photographer and what you expect as a client from your photographer or from the, the project or the shoot. And it is really how they've captured or the photographer has captured your brief and bringing magic to whatever your product is, which is I think what we all look for in photographers. Ladies, if I may, I'd like to say that when I was on the shoot, the focus was heroes. I saw how the teams worked. It was about a team spirit, a team effort, and some teams were much better than others. This is Vectra. Vectra. And this is the shot yes. that they've chosen as their winning. winning shot. Do we think that's the best shot of the collage? There are yeah. four good photographs mm. on this for me. And, the best and it's one? not that one. <laughs> no. This one, which is Vertigo. This was Vertigo. And the winning shot they chose was here. I think that's a very difficult subject to shoot and it's, it just doesn't kind of have the drama that these have. They didn't choose the right photograph. And this one? That's in front. That's their, winning, is, that's their um, winning one. The winning one they, the one they chose. But I'm just looking at all three of these right now and obviously they're all different situations. I must be honest, I prefer this shot. I would have chosen that as my winning, winning shot. shot. I just love the fact that there's these firemen, these hoses, the water, the water squirting, shot. the fire in the background. I just think that is that is the sexiest shot. It is a sexy shot. This is my best photograph in the whole table to today. I still think there's something wonderful about this. It's like the end of the day and it's after all the drama and it's, it's I think it it's looks just, like they're just tired and I just think it's exhausted. This to me tells a story. Yeah. At, le student. at least there's something going on here. Heroes. These the, two are heroes. Yeah, I mean, listen, the thing, this is a nice angle, but I'll be honest, I have no idea what he's doing. He could be strangling someone. <laughs> I don't he's tying his shoe for all I know. So, what are we thinking? For me, this is the winning shot. Are you in agreement? Yes. Remember, heroes, right? Yes, that says it, but it doesn't have the magic. This is the team that's going to win. Okay. 
But I think Brilliant. after reviewing over all of this, at least from my point of view, I don't feel the correct shot was chosen on any of no, the collages. No, I, I agree with yeah. you completely. What do you no, think? Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. But now we do have to choose yeah. their choice of the best shot, and that's, that's it. it. Their choice of their best shot. This is the best shot. OK, I thank you. Oh, man, it's painful. All right, so we've got a best shot. All right. Rock and roll. My shot has been selected as a final image. I'm very, very concerned. Um, I think it's an emotive shot, but I don't know. We, we don't know what the other teams are doing, so to say I got the heroic shot, we shall have to see. I don't think I chose the best shot because I lost the shot that I wanted. Well, I've got the smile on my face, so my shot was the best shot. I'm going to begin, panel, by asking you to please give us a brief description of what you wanted from the Challenge Heroes. I think the panel has decided unanimously that we were looking for the moment of heroism, that unsung hero, which was in your brief, and also the task which you were given. Example, vertigo, backdraft, how you incorporated that into your brief. Thank you, panel. Can we please have now Johnson for Team Aperture? Can we have Mbali for Team Exposure and Ian from Team Optical? Up, please come and join the panel around the table and make sure you have your collage and your best shot with you as well. I'm gonna hand over to the panel now. They're gonna have a brief chat with the three of you. How's it, guys? Fine. Fine. Well, should we start with Team Aperture? Explain to us why this was your shot. Um, we feel out of every shot that we have, it is the one that best describes the moment. There's five firemen working as a team heading towards a fire. And to us, the hero should be perfectly balanced, so the image is symmetrical, so the one they chose to, as portrait, so as the one that best describes the, the entire story, the center of it. How do you think you worked as a team? I think we worked incredibly well. There was no arguments at all. We were agreed on very specific tasks. We all had our creative space. And we worked very, very well together in that way. Bali, please. Thank you. Thank you. And explain to us why this was your shot. OK, so the main reason why we chose that particular photograph was that it stuck to the brief. It also incorporated the vertigo aspect because we needed to show that it was happening from um, kind of like a, a height um, perspective. We needed to show that there was some height involved within that shot. So that's why we incorporated the building in the background. And that's why we chose that one. OK. And Team Optical. And explain to us why this was your choice. This embodied the hero, the mood, the drama, the coloring. It also tells the story of the guy with his axe. He's walking away and he's walking away to his family. Are you confident this was the right choice? I am indeed. And Bali, are you confident that was the right choice? Yes. Yes. John, yes? Indeed. Definitely. Can I ask you something, Johnson? Of course. Why would you not have chosen that one? Uh, it made the hero seem very, very small in the image to me. 
so it kind of took that out of it. There's not that intensity of the flames that you see in that shot. So I much prefer that there's this more sense of danger. Whereas in this one, it's, it's arty, but it doesn't describe the hair as well as I would have liked. Okay. Well, I have a question for you. Who took this shot? That was taken by Paul. Paul. Yes. Why did you not choose this shot? Because the, ch the shot that we chose had so much um, intensity on his face. How do I know he's resuscitating somebody? As far as I'm concerned, he'd just taken off his boots. <laughs> Remember, photography, the image, must tell you the story, right, guys? The complete story, yeah. And um, we felt this shot was a little more powerful. We actually had a conversation about that particular image. To us, that hero walking away from the scene with his utensils in his hand, etc., with those feelings, with that drama, just actually tells the story. Out of the three shots that we were presented, we felt that this shot was the best shot that was presented. But we don't think the best shots were chosen out of your collage to represent each team. Do you think you gave the judging process enough time in the edit to choose the best shot? Because you did not show us the best shot in the collage, according to us. And we're pretty unanimous on this, if I may say. I do agree that maybe we could have given it a lot more time, but we didn't have the time. Under the circumstances, everything was an element of surprise and time constraints, so we had to make a decision, and based on the shortness, that's the one we went for. Are you happy? I'm going to have to stop you there. Team leaders, go back and join your teams, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. The time of reckoning is here. The panel has deliberated, they've chatted, and they have come to a decision. Like I said, their decision is final. Brian mentioned now that he felt none of the teams gave them the best shot. So what you're saying, panel, is that you did not get the best shot from a single one of the teams, right? That is correct, yes. Do you recall me saying to you, as in the world of photography, expect the unexpected? Things can change. Well, things have certainly changed here today. Because of this, on this challenge, there will be no reward, there will be no immunity, and there will be no prize. All three of our team leaders are up for elimination. I now need all three of our team leaders, Johnson, Mbali, and Ian, to choose another member of your team, and please come back and join our panel. You take a seat in the chair, you stand behind him there, Miles. Team Aperture, why Miles? I feel out of all the shots there that his was the weakest. I feel that as a team, we work very well together, but as an enemy team, people stand out. And when we were shooting the task, that he was a much more aggressive shooter, not really planning the shots, and for me, that is a disadvantage for the team. And Bali? It was a bit difficult to work with her. We physically had to help her with setting up each of the shots, which was a disadvantage for our team, especially when it came to things like um, the editing part. No one helped me get my shots. It was just a matter of helping me set up the camera. I'm the first time doing photography ever. That's all. The shots I did by myself. Are you proud of what you did? Yes, definitely. I would never have thought which, I would get so far. Which shot is yours? Yeah, please. Which shot is yours? The bottom left. Please, Team Optical. Why Brendan? I sincerely feel that every single one of those pictures there deserves to be up. It was a very tough decision to get to where we were. And I have motivated why we took that one as the best shot. However, I'm basing my decision on a very, very last minute decision. And it's based purely on the team ethics. Did we pull together as a team? Who didn't, who wasn't there at a certain time when we had meetings? And I felt that Brendan did let us down as far as that is concerned. Yeah, look, uh, each to their own. Maybe 
I like to wonder and ponder a bit. I guess I wasn't always with the team, but yeah, for sure. I respect his decision, so that's cool. And which one is your shot, Brendan? Uh, bottom left, that one. Now, you know absolutely what we said, and you picked him anyway. <laughs> As I said, I made my decision walking here. Okay. So we come to that time then when someone has to be eliminated. The one thing that hasn't changed yet today is that two of you will still be turning your camera switches to the off position. Two of you will still be going home. Two of you are leaving Sharpshooter South Africa today. Panel, who is the first person facing elimination? Team exposure, it's difficult to say, but one of you is going home. The person who did not take the best shot is you and Bali. Really? You I'm did going not home. take the best shot. You are not ready to be a sharpshooter. Can I just ask is why? Is this your shot? Yes, that's mine. It's just not a great shot, Bali. It really, there's no imagination. It's, it's just a bland shot. But like, he looks so like big and buff. He's a superhero. I mean, that's, that's exactly the weakest, why we That's we, the we weakest could... photo of the collage. Panel's decision is final. Mbali, please leave the gallery. Bye, guys. Have fun. Right, now we go back to our panel. This is tough. <laughs> this is really tough, guys. It's terrible. Uh, I have to say something. As far as a collage goes, I feel that this has to be the best collage that I've seen here today. Now, which is yours? It's also really nice. You all did very, very well, I think. Well, I think per the brief, being backdraft, when it comes down between the two of you, my vote gets that. No, you're right. Brendan, you did not take the best shot. You are not ready to be a sharpshooter. Please, turn in your bag. Thanks, guys. Brendan, Thank you. will you please leave the gallery? Thank you, panel. Thank you, contestants. The rest of you can take your seats, please. Well done, you guys. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Well done, everyone. Right. There we have it. So clearly, you have to up your game. Stay sharp. Look sharp. Stay focused. And I'll see you on the next challenge. It was, it was a blast. My sharpshooter experience was incredible. I had fun. I met some incredible people, and I'll remember it for a long time. I'm not so sure if the panel was fair, but I think that they needed to make a choice, and I just happened to be the one they chose. Wow, I loved it. Every minute. I mean, I wasn't even here that long, and I'm really upset, because if I could have been here double that, I would have learned double as much, you know? I just. Oh, I learned so much. I think the panel might have had a, the, had a little bit of a contradiction. Uh, I mean, I'm sure some people will agree with me. I know a lot of people did. Uh, yeah. The whole dynamic of that judging was pretty intense for me personally. Um, I'm still a little bit shaking. I felt really on edge and nervous for the contestants. And yeah, they were really, really hard decisions. I mean. We didn't come to that lightly. We didn't want to see anybody go. I think within the teams, it is obvious who is struggling, and we will see if they can have what it takes, if they've got the best shot for the next challenge.